Hi guys, let me take you through on how we made this sumptuous macaroni and chicken. This food was prepared by Oche, so you need to get your chicken if you have anyone. It's optional. Next, you get your macaroni. So, I want to try something new. We got some tomatoes and pepper. We got some crayfish. Crayfish is optional for people in the abroad. So we got onion, we got some sachet tomato. That is not tomato. This is tomato paste and not the one they use in cooking spaghetti. So this is us washing the crayfish. And Uche is lightening up the gas. Yeah. The food is about to go down. Next up, she added water in the pots. And now she's cutting onion. You know, me... My own job is just to make some video while she chops the onion. So the water is ready now and it's time to add your macaroni. So we are teaching you how we made ours. So if you feel our method is not okay, you can do yours. But So we steamed the chicken. We already added onion, some maggi and salt. And now the macaroni is ready. Poured it out. And this is how it looked after washing out the starch. Yeah, for boiling, you can say it that way. And this is some veggies, some carrot and peas, some to chopped tomato, onion. This is um, pounded crayfish and pepper. And that's still our sachet tomato and that's cube. So these are the ingredients ready. Now you add um, oil into the pan and you add your onion you allow it to fry a little bit maybe a little bit brownish if you want but ours we did not allow it to fry it so brownish and we added our tomato paste after adding the tomato paste you have to give it a nice stir after giving a nice stir you add your chopped tomato yeah fresh chopped tomato you add it and give a nice stir you know you make sure you stir so it doesn't get burnt that's why you have to stir yeah so it's turning out nice mm -hmm. so the next stop you add your crayfish and pepper see for people that don't like pepper this is optional but we we love pepper and we love some crayfish so that was how we added it and see Mm, it's frying well make sure you allow it fry then next you add your veggies your carrots and peas then add a little bit of water don't go put plenty water or small water because you already parboiled your macaroni so you just add small water also that all the ingredients will go in next up you add your salt then you add your cubes and then you cover it up for it to cook and boil for a while so that all the ingredients will mix together yeah so that's cube which is adding to the pot so after allowing it to boil you can see it's boiling properly then you can now add your macaroni oh my god that's the best part of this cooking as the macaroni goes inside you give it a nice stir so all the ingredients will mix together. After that, you cover it, allow it boil for 5 to 10 minutes. 10 minutes is even much. 5 minutes, it's okay. And voila! Your macaroni is ready. Best served with chilled water or beverage, it's up to you. So this is it. Macaroni jollof. Ew! I love it! Thanks for watching. Bye.